Oh man, get these before they're gone. Hey, fragrance family, I'm David. and I'm a fragrance bro, of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, I have been a big fan of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. A lot of what they focus on is kind of this kind of old school masculine aftershave type of smell and audience, but they do more than that. You can still be a fan of them and try things that are modern and really unique. One of the best things that they have, I think, are limited releases that they release every season, every month. They come out with some fragrances. They just bring out of the vault and then put back in after a period of time. And fall is no exception. Fall is maybe one of their favorite seasons because they have a lot of really great cult classics from the line. These are most of the fragrances that they have for their fall seasonals. I came up with this idea a little bit late. So uh, it's at the end of October. You still have a little bit of time to cash in on some of these fragrances. Some of them are going to be running till the end of November. Some of them will be going out at the end of October. So if you're interested in any of these, definitely check them out now. And if you're watching these in the future and the fall is not here anymore, stay tuned because I have some other seasonal releases from the brand that I'm going to be talking about in the future. Now, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements was kind enough to send me these for review. The bottles that they sent to me are the aftershaves, but they have a ton of products in their line. Definitely go check them out. I think they have some of the best products per category that I've tried from any brand. The best deodorants, the best soaps, the best shampoos, etc. If you like a scent, you can get that scent in any of the products that they have including EDPs. So they do have eau de parfums in their line and they're only 50 bucks for 30 mil. So that's really good. Even better than that though, is they also have samples of their entire line. So if you want to try any of these, they have a great sample service on their website. So definitely check them out for that too. All right, with that out of the way, of course, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> You'll really love it here if you like fragrance content at all. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be talking about is Atomic Pumpkin. And this is one that I think will be vaulted pretty soon. So if you're interested in this at all, definitely get it in October. This is one of their more popular scents in their line. And of course, Atomic Pumpkin, if you're familiar with the brand at all, is similar to their Atomic Age Bay Rum fragrance. Now, Bay Rum is a fragrance that I've talked about before on the channel, especially with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You can go up here and check out a link to that. Great fragrance, very old school, has a lot of history to it, but I really like it a lot. Now, Atomic Pumpkin is kind of a flanker, if you will, of Bay Rum, but of course with pumpkin, and it is with actual pumpkin oil. If you like Bay Rum at all, and if you like pumpkin at all, you'll love these together because they work perfectly. That pumpkin really has the kind of pumpkin pie vibe. Now in their Bay Rum from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, they don't put clove in it because the actual West Indian Bay has a kind of clove note already. So if you're sensitive to clove at all on your skin, you don't have to worry about that. There's no clove in this. Now, if you don't like Bay Rum, then this is probably not the fragrance for you. <laughs> but I happen to really love Bay Rum, so I love this fragrance. I love pumpkin pie. Of course, the kind of spicy elements that you get in pumpkin pie, like those baker's spices, really shine through in this fragrance. Some of the notes in this are West Indian Bay, blood orange, allspice, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and elemy. And I have to say that the Bay Rum and the pumpkin really shine through here. They work really well together. And I think this is a fantastic fragrance. If you like these two things at all, definitely check them out. Next is this one right here. And this one is Clown Fruit. Now this one is another cult classic with the brand that I believe has changed names a couple of times and it came in and out and now is kind of just a perennial favorite from the brand as a seasonal. Now this really doesn't strike me as a fall fragrance of sorts. It just kind of just came out in the fall this year, but it's wild. It's fantastic. And of course, from the artwork, it's creepy AF. <laughs> I think it's really creepy in a good way. Some of the notes in this are elderberry, absinthe, oak, and tobacco. Though this doesn't really have much of a fall fragrance uh, vibe to me, this really comes across almost as those kind of big pieces of gum that you find in a quarter machine as a kid. The purple ones, those are the ones that this reminds me of the most. I'm sure it's probably the elderberry in that that kind of reminds me of that. It's very fruity at the top. It's very sweet and of course, almost candy-like. Now there's other notes in there as well, and they kind of just bolster the kind of fruity sweetness that I think it has naturally. It's really good. This is one fragrance that I hear a lot about. Uh, people who like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements are always glowing about this fragrance. And what's interesting is the actual soaps that they make for this fragrance actually do glow. <laughs> That's pretty funny in itself, but the actual scent, really cool, really interesting, fruity, bubblegummy, absinthe, oak, tobacco, fantastic. Next is Cider House 5. And of course, 
This fragrance screams fall. It is fall through and through. It's an incredible fall scent. Everything about this from top to bottom is quintessentially fall. It's something that you want to try. Now notes in this are pipe smoke, mulled cider, oak, dried leaves, and linseed. A lot of these notes really shine through. You definitely get the mulled cider. I'm currently brewing some cider as a home brew right now, and it has that kind of semi-sweet, almost dry-like quality to actual apple cider. A lot of times whenever fragrances put apple in a note, it comes across as almost candy apple or green apple. That's not the case here. This is apple, but it's on the semi-sweet side, and I love that. And the apple is forefront here. This is very much an apple cider fragrance, but you also get the other things as as well. Like you definitely get the tobacco, you definitely get the dried leaves. It has almost like this dusty, bitter quality that the you know, fall dried leaves have that is fantastic. Those things shine through and it just has this nice, warm, woody heart at the bottom that is amazing. It's perfectly balanced. And if you want something that is so fall, that is just fall memories through and through, definitely check this one out. It's amazing. Next is Coconut Oud, and this one is a really interesting one. This one is an old fragrance that came out a long time ago, and they brought it out of the vault, and it's only two notes. Maybe you know what those notes are, of course. They're Coconut and Oud, and these are balanced so, so well. I don't know how many iterations he went through to see where the scales tipped for the perfect balance, but he found it, because this is amazing. What's really cool about this is you don't think that Coconut and Oud would go together, but they work so well. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly stinky, it combines finds like the best qualities of really good oud, rounds it off with the coconut quality, and both of the best qualities marry together and make something that is really unique here. I don't know if coconut and oud has been done before. Maybe you guys know. I'm not really sure. I don't remember a fragrance that has done coconut and oud together. And I think this is an amazing scent, especially for people out there in the fragrance community, some of my followers, who like oud fragrances. You've got to get this one. This one is great. As you wear it, each note pops out and then kind of comes back down in certain ways. There's kind of this balancing act. And then there's this other part of the fragrance where both of them merge together and make this kind of really interesting, buttery, semi-sweet, kind of leathery, kind of uh, woody thing that is magic. It is really great. So yeah, definitely check out Coconut Oud. Next is Rustler's Ridge. And this one is a vanilla fragrance. And it is spectacular. This is very much kind of a Western style vanilla. I would even say maybe like a cowboy style vanilla. As the story goes on their website, the owner was inspired by the Tombstone region of Arizona. Of course, they're in the Arizona area, Phoenix, Arizona Kuchimitz. And there was something in the air that really captivated his attention. And he made Rustler's Ridge to kind of capture that moment in time. Some of the notes in this are vanilla, ozone, prickly pear, sage, musk, spruce, and cedar. It's a dark, woody, and I would even say moody style vanilla. It's beautiful. I think maybe the closest thing that I would say this kind of reminds me of in style is Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. It's not the same, but it kind of has a similar vibe and aesthetic there. It is very complex, and there's a lot in here that I just really love. I love the woodiness here. I love the muskiness here. The vanilla is not very strong sweet. It's just on the woody side and it's gorgeous. It is seriously one of the best vanillas out there, bar none. I have not smelled many things that are like this. It's fantastic. Definitely check this one out. And the last fragrance I have here for the fall seasonals is Otra. And Otra is a new fragrance, I believe, that was inspired by another fragrance that they have in the line called Alphine. Now, Phoenix Arizona Kuchimitz has a kind of mythos that they put on their website with each page. And Otra is kind of a sister to Alphine in that kind of mythos. Now, I also really like Alphine. It's a beautiful scent that I think is definitely worth checking out. Otra, though, is special. This one is really next level. Again, this is one that I don't think really reminds me of the fall. This one I think could be a spring or even summer release, and I think no one would bat an eye. It's kind of that style of fragrance. Now there's a lot of notes here, so be patient with me here as I read the notes. Lavender, bergamot, white trefoil, pettigrain, rose, geranium, tonka, clary sage, fir needle, pine, juniper, chamomile, bamboo, cedar, vetiver, rosewood, sandalwood, hay, and oak moss. There's a lot there. If this was released as a Dior or a Creed fragrance, 
fragrance. This would be widely received as one of the best fragrances in those lines. And to me, this is very fresh, clean, and even somewhat soapy and musky. You definitely get lavender, you definitely get rose. There's a soapy, green, piney thing. I would even say the chamomile and even the bamboo are noticeable here. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. I love this from top to bottom. It is magnificent. You've got to check out Otra. So that is all I have. What do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements? And have you tried any of these fall seasonal fragrances? I'm gonna be doing this again in the winter time with some of the winter fragrances, so stay tuned. If I missed any for fall, I apologize. This is the first time we tried it, so we're gonna do a little bit better on the next seasonals. Let me know what your favorites are down in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.